What's up, we're Colossus Fitness and here are five favorite dumbbell exercises to build some mass. Number one, this is my personal favorite. I don't do it too often. If I'm doing a push pull, I love this. So it's just quite simply, you can start supinated, you're gonna hit a curl, big squeeze, now you're gonna turn that Arnold press right through, come back down, and down from there. It's really simple, basically just combining two exercises. Usually I'm not a fan of grouping up a bunch of things. It's not my number one choice for clients or people, but at the end of a push pull, you do this as a burnout, you're killing your bicep, you're killing your shoulders. Those are your showy muscles if you're gonna go out you know, you want to impress the ladies or show up looking big with your bros or even girls if you want that nice solid arm pump. Some width, this is the exercise for you. It's quite simple, but it's a ton of fun. Focus those contractions, you're gonna love this. Next up, this is the dumbbell supported goblet squat. If you guys are into full body workouts, this one is insane. This is probably one of my favorite leg movements. As you guys know, we love doing back squats, but unfortunately, a lot of people don't know and really understand how to do a proper back squat. So as an introduction, it's great to do the goblet squat. The weight is in front of you. Um, it really you know, burns the quads, and it's just a good introduction to actual squatting. But as a bonus, it's just killing because you take this dumbbell and you just freaking squeeze it and your biceps are so pumped up. It's a nice isometric hold to pump up that upper body. So you, have, you guys have to try it out. Next up, we got farmer's walk. A lot of people overlook this because it looks dumb and it looks too easy. You're just holding something and walking. That's not what the mindset you want. So this actually is fantastic. It's gonna work your forearms. It's gonna really help you develop those trap games. I can hardly flex mine, but I'm learning slowly. Uh, so it'll really help work those. Um, when you're walking, you just pick a weight, no matter what weight, you can just challenge the distance. If you have 10 pounds, you can go nice and far, you can hold those suckers for a minute solid, or if you have a better space, like a gym, you can measure it in laps, or laps of a turf track like I do, kind of going all around. And it's just gonna work your body head to toe, you gotta use those glutes to stabilize, you're squeezing your abs, you can get a ton of benefit out of this exercise. Make sure you're utilizing this in your routine. I really recommend it on a pull day or a leg day. It fits in nicely there. Numero four, uh, we got one of my personal favorites, single arm Arnold press. So a lot of people love OHB and things like that. I'm not a huge fan because you're putting a lot of compression on your spine. People don't learn how to squeeze their abs properly. To balance them, they'll kind of rest on that spine and you cause an injury there. So I love this exercise because it's really gonna work everything as well. So when you're standing, you gotta squeeze your abs and your glutes to stabilize you. If these units are weak, your body is gonna be weak. You're gonna move moving all around and you're not gonna benefit from this. So you need to learn to get that solid core when I'm squeezing my abs and my butt, I'm strong. Then the Arnold press is fantastic because we're rotating through everything. So just like we did with the curl, we're doing this on its own. It's one arm at a time, it's unilateral work. And we're rotating from that front head over that lateral head, pushing through, working our stability the whole way around. This is a killer and it's a huge fundamental exercise for strength and size. And next up guys, this is absolutely one of my favorite exercises. This is great for the triceps and this is the dumbbell skull crusher into the close grip bench press. So basically you're just gonna be starting with your arms over your head and this is a great tricep building exercise and then once you're fatigued at the very end, instead of stopping, you're still able to bring your arms down to the side, continue to rep it out and really fatigue those triceps to put on some more size to your arms. And as a bonus, it's unilateral work and it's also a little bit more gentle on your wrists and your elbows, so try it out and let us know how it goes. Hopefully you enjoyed those exercises. Comment down below which one you're most excited to try. We're excited to hear from you. We love the little discussion that goes on down below. If you're new to our channel, it would mean the world if you could smash that subscribe button. There's tons of great content to come your way. Uh, we constantly upload on Monday and Wednesday two bangers for videos, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So we'll see you then. Subscribe, like, comment, share, all those YouTube plugs. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.